Good morning, everybody. Whoa, the sun is so bright. This is uh, day, I think, actually 21 of our trip. Uh, we're in Napoli, Napolis, uh, in, um, in Italy, and uh, we're just now kind of pulling into the port. Um, I'll show you outside as I usually do. Well, okay, so as you can see, it's uh, there's a Besides, behind the sun is this huge mountain. I don't know what it is yet, a volcano or something maybe. But um, let me get out of the sun. And uh, there's a big port coming up. Uh, it looks pretty industrial. They say it's one of the largest ports of Italy. Um, today I have got a tour. Um, I'm going actually um, out to Pompeii and a couple of those places out that direction. It's gonna be a seven hour tour, so I've got a lot to show you. Mom's gonna stay back behind because this requires a lot of walking and she just can't do that. So she's gonna to go to the, uh, just stay local with around the ship. Um, there's a um, port that has little shops and things so she can go find her souvenirs and so forth. Uh, maybe some Wi-Fi. And um, anyway, so we are getting dressed, getting ready for, go hit some breakfast. I get my bags packed and hit down for the meeting area for my tour. So stay tuned for the tour adventures, uh, Pompeii, the buried city. It should be awesome. Here we go. I made it off the ship. Mom is heading over to the uh, uh, little port area there for the shops. You can see that behind me. It's pretty nice. And uh, we're in Naples, and I'm heading to my bus to get on the bus. Okay. <coughs> Not the front seat, but close. Take a look. And welcome to Naples. Thank you for coming. My name is Luigi. Nice to meet you. So. If the guy's name is Luigi, the driver's name should be Mario, like in the video games. But because we don't want to give you hard times learning difficult names, the driver today is, of course, Captain Luigi. Buongiorno, Luigi. Buongiorno. He's the number one, Luigi the first, King Luigi, that will take, actually, care of us the whole day. There, to the left-hand side, 11 o'clock to the left, you can see a fortress, you can see a castle, that is what we call Castello Nuovo, the new castle. How new is that building? Well, the foundation stone, the cornerstone, was laid in 1266. So it is second hand, but in good conditions. And it is the landmark, the symbol of the city of Naples. Okay, we made a quick stop to do a uh, to watch a demonstration of them do carving seashells. They're called cameos. So we're gonna get a chance to watch this for a few minutes. Let's take a look. Beautiful artwork. Lots of different options here. Uh, they're offering a discount, but I don't buy anything. I have nobody to buy for. Mom, I think, has a cameo. I'm not sure, but uh, it's beautiful stuff. Uh, I saw some, some video there, some pictures of the, uh, the artwork. We're only here for a few minutes and we're moving on, but um, it's really nice. Okay, we made it to Pompeii, and we're gonna do our little tour with our guide. And uh, we have this little headphone thing right here, so I can hear him, but you can't hear him because it's in my ear. But uh, we'll show you around. Well, they uh, built the buildings on the lava flow, so they knew that there was a volcano here nearby when they built the city. Interesting.
Okay, what you just saw there was the steam baths. They had uh, warm water and hot water and cold water steam baths there. And uh, now we're walking back down the end of this block here. Well, this place is actually really big. It's huge. Lots of stuff preserved. Lots of people visiting. Okay, we're at the restaurant where we actually get some lunch with water and wine and food. It's like a three course meal. It's pretty cool. Okay, we just finished our lunch. It was nice. We had pasta and pizza and a piece of meat like a pork chop and a dessert, which was good. But um, my uh, tour group is back that way. I took off because I'm gonna go to the souvenir shop area to find something for mom since she couldn't uh, make it out here to this. You know, her thimbles, see if there's a Pompeii thimble. And then I'm gonna meet the rest of the tour out here by the bus in just a few minutes. So let's see what I can find. Okay, I found a thimble for mom and uh, first stand I went to, they wanted five euro for it. I said, no, 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 it's too much. I walk away, I said, no, no, come back, come back, come back. So I got it for three euro, which is about, uh, four dollars roughly and that's and that's about what we've been paying for thimbles at all the different places anywhere from one euro to three euros probably at the most so I'm okay with that it's good it's got Pompeii on it I don't know if she's gonna find that um, on the ship or not or, or near the ship but um, so I thought I'd pick one up for her. all right now I have to go back and find the bus Okay, we're at the uh, archaeological museum now. We're just waiting to get our tickets in to go in, and we can take lots of pictures and videos, no problem. So you get a chance to see some of the uh, super awesome archaeological museum stuff. Let's take a look.
Okay, well that is just a little bit of the museum that we saw. There was so much to see with statues and relics and uh, paintings and mosaics. All that stuff was just fantastic. Um, but we are done with that tour, so I think we're getting back on the bus and heading back to the ship. So, um, and the, this museum actually is in, in Naples, Napoli, Napoli, Naples, basically. Um, that's where the museum is, though we went to um, Pompeii, which of course it was, was quite a ways away. Um, but uh, it's been a great trip, so we'll see you back soon uh, for more adventures for today. We'll see what we do next. Okay, well that's it for the tour for uh, Naples and Pompeii and all that stuff. We're back and back at the terminal and uh, my ship is right there behind me. So we're gonna go back on the ship and uh, get ready for dinner and a show tonight. Uh, I tried to check to see if there was any Wi-Fi in there and I didn't get any Wi-Fi. I always try to check at all the ports just in case if, uh, you know, check in and things like that, check my emails. But anyhow, going back on the ship, go find mom and uh, go get some more food. <laughs> Of course. All right, hey, there we go, thank you. All right, well I made it back to the ship in time for dinner. It's uh, 5.30 and Mom and I decided to do our last dinner and the last supper uh, on the ship at the restaurant, at the dining room, uh, not at the Lido deck where we normally do, do our uh, eating. So we get the nice restaurant with a nice menu. Uh, today is just a table for me and Mom. There's Mom, say hi Mom. Hi Mom. There you go. So it's just the two of us and um, one thing that I noticed on the menu that they have that I'm going to get because I had it before is escargot. If you don't know what escargot is, it's snails. It's very garlicky. I love it. Sounds gross. I love it. I had it once already on this trip when we first uh, got on board the ship and I'm going to have it again. And I'm not sure what else I have. I have to look at it. Maybe some lamb or something. But anyways, here we go. We're going to have food. You'll see pictures of it coming up next. Okay, well I just wanted to show you guys the, uh, the escargot, I just uh, posted up a picture there for you. Um, but it's, it usually has a, a, a bread or a crusting of some kind, I think this is cheese. And they, they don't serve them in shells like some people think, but you know some places may should. I've had them before where they serve them in shells, but this don't, they have this little thing here. This little, little pot, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Um, and you can see they're garlic very garlic it's like garlic butter they soak it in garlic butter we've got this little cheesy thing on them and they're hot so let's give them a try mmm mm. it's good they're a little chewy but not too bad um, and these aren't your garden snails. They actually, you know, raise these very specifically for eating. But um, it's good. Um, how do you also describe it? Maybe like, a, like an oyster kind of thing? It could be. A little bit like an oyster, chewy oyster. But anyways, but I'm going to... All you taste is garlic. Yeah, yeah, all you taste is garlic. It's like a chewy ball of garlic um, and butter. It's all you taste. So anyways, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. So stay tuned for the next course of meal that we get. Okay, I got the lamb and uh, I forgot to take a picture before I started eating it so you got like a half eaten picture <laughs> because it was so good it looks so good and this is so tender and wonderful. Mm. And mom got this little chicken thing over there. Well that's awesome too so that's good and then for dessert we have baked Alaska. Baked, baked Alaska. <laughs> That was cool. They just did a uh, big parade thing with all the uh, chefs that came in and to uh, give them thanks and all the people that served. It's awesome stuff. Wonderful, good food. Okay, we got our dessert. It's baked Alaska with a cherry thing on the side. 
yummy. Hey, one benefit of uh, having friends that hang out at the bar is when they order a drink that has a little bit of leftover, the wonderful bartender sometimes gives mom just a little taste. That's Look what she's got. Taste. That's a whole serving. No, it's not. That's just a taste. It's pina colada time. What do you think? Mm. You like it? Well, pineapple coconut are two of my favorite flavors anyway. There you go. Mom likes it. She's getting drunk. No, she's not. That's our Australian friends. Wait, wait, wait. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, now that we finished our dinner, uh, we are back up in our room because I've got to pack. Mom, because she didn't go on the, any excursions today, actually got her stuff all packed up. I have to pack because tonight is the last night of our cruise. We are just now leaving port, so let's take a look at that real quick. Such a beautiful evening. So. Yeah, it's kind of sad, but I have to pack up uh, tomorrow. We have to put our suitcases outside by midnight, outside the our rooms by midnight, because they're going to take them down ahead of time for tomorrow to get them onto our buses to take us to the airport. So we don't have to worry about that. We just have, have our, our carry-ons with us is all we need to have um, left. So... I gotta pack up all my stuff, which means my wine. I need to wrap those up really well, put those in my suitcase that I'm checking in because I can't bring those onto the plane. And hopefully everything will fit and not be too much weight so we're not charged anything extra. So we will see how that goes, I guess, when we get to the airport. So anyways, that's about it for, for now, for tonight. Not really my good night message as such yet, but I gotta pack. So I'll see you guys soon. Well, this is a little sad for me because this is the last good night, last night on the ship. Tomorrow morning we get up early and uh, get to the airport in Rome. And we land in Rome, get to the airport, and then uh, head from there to London, and then from London all the way back home to Los Angeles. So this is the last bit. We have our big bag suitcases packed. They're outside. They're probably gone by now. I'm not sure. We got everything just pretty much ready. So. We're gonna call it a night, it's gonna be it. Um, and tomorrow's adventure is basically heading home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna film it, of course, because you never know what kind of crazy things are gonna happen when you're traveling for that final day. So stay tuned for that. Make sure that we get home safe, all right? So stay tuned, keep watching. One more episode to go. All right, have a good night, everybody.